Every year, Minnesota produces 1.7 million tons of turkey litter. Traditionally, this waste would be spread on fields to fertilize crops. But now, there's a groundbreaking alternative to deal with this waste. The surprising solution? Turn it into power. Fibromin Power Plant in Benson, Minnesota is North America's first and the world's largest power plant fueled by turkey litter. We combust somewhere in the area of half a million tons of poultry litter annually to make about 55 megawatts of renewable energy. What does that mean in practical terms? Not only does the plant run entirely on the energy it produces, it also provides power to roughly 50,000 homes. The operation relies on turkey farms across the state. Every day, 140 semis pick up over 3,000 tons of turkey waste. I know what you're thinking. Doesn't all that litter stink? Well, it may not be that bad in the barns, but when there is a 25-ton heap, it smells so bad that the truckloads are sealed with an airtight metal cover so that they don't stink up local neighborhoods en route to the plant. The storage building holds up to 10,000 tons of waste at one time. The smell inside is so powerful, it burns the eyes and will stay in clothes for days. That's why the building is kept at negative pressure, a kind of continuous vacuum state. Imagine a super bathroom ventilation fan that sucks out the offending odors and keeps them trapped inside the building. The biomass travels on a conveyor belt to the boiler building. The feeders uh, drop down through chutes and the fuel, our turkey litter, is blown into the boiler and it's fed onto a grate. In on the grate, there's a vibrating section that will allow the fuel to be stoked and keep the fire burning. The litter is combusted at more than 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit, which heats water in a giant boiler. It produces steam that turns a turbine connected to a generator, which creates electricity. But doesn't burning all that litter create pollution? Actually, no. Fibromin utilizes advanced emission control equipment, which makes the plant virtually pollution-free. What you see coming out of the smokestack is mostly water vapor and a minimal amount of CO2. The process does create a lot of ash, but it turns out that it's rich in nutrients and recoverable for use in fertilizers.